Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly market analysis video where I'd be doing the technical analysis based on both market profile view, which is what you're seeing here, as well as the candlestick pattern view for the S&P 500 futures, ticker symbol ES, March 2023 contract. So without further ado, let's get right into what happened since last week's video and what are the possible opportunities for next week. So let's get started. So on February 10th, I had posted a video saying that above 4104.25, it's going to be bullish and below 4069.75, it was going to be bearish. And let's see what happened on Monday, which is this week's Monday, February 13th, we had opened with a small gap up compared to the last Friday's high, which is 4104.25. Then we filled the gap. We rallied straight up and then closed almost near the high of the day. It was more, almost like a P profile shape. So the following day in the overnight session, we got a sharp short covering rally, as you can see. So on Tuesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, we had opened within prior day's range, which is Monday's range. And so it was mostly choppy and then the close was within prior day's range as well. And then on Wednesday, we had formed like an inside day, which means the whole day's trading range would be within prior day's trading range. Then we call it an inside day. And then on Thursday, so there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And the reason I'm skipping one profile in between is because that's the overnight session. On Wednesday, we had closed with an inside day and on Thursday, we had opened with a gap down. Oh. So one day we closed almost near high of day and then the other day we opened like below prior day's low. So on Thursday, we had opened with a gap down, like filled the gap, made a sort of like a P profile and then closed below opening. And then today on Friday, we had opened with another gap down. Uh, as you notice, my cursor. So the uh, Thursday's close was right around here, 4099.5. And then today, Friday, we had opened at 4078.25. Yeah, sorry, 4076.25. We'd open here, we tried to fill the gap in the morning, but then we found resistance near the half cap area. And then we stayed choppy most of the day around the uh, 11 day balance zone. And we had closed within the 11 day balance zone. So for next week, 4090.5 is going to be the line in sign for the upside, which means above this level, you want to stay long or buy call options. And below 4055.75, you want to stay short or buy put options. One more thing I want to highlight, you might wonder where does this 11 day balance zone come from, right? Starting with the last uh, Friday, which was already like a two day balance zone or five day balance zone. And the, all the successive trading sessions were fully within, uh, oops. Yeah, all the successive trading sessions for this whole week were within this big balance zone like in this range yeah just keep an eye only today we had like uh, went below the trading range only today we went below the below this big balance zone so today was actually like a balance breakdown but then we couldn't continue lower as the inventory was too short already for the last three days that is why I found like a B profile and then close was near the high of the day. And that brings us this 4090.5 as the line in sign for the upside for the for the further continuation onto the upside. And the 4055.75 would be the for the continuation to the downside. As long as we are in this balance zone, big balance zone, the 11 days 
trading range highlighted in these yellow color levels it is going to be choppy meaning it can go from 4069 all the way to 4208 as well we can't really tell we just have to see keep an eye on how price reacts at these balance levels and then trade accordingly but for next week just keep an eye on on these levels like 4090.5 for the upside continuation and 4055.75 for the downside continuation so that's it for the market profile view let's jump into the candlestick pattern view now starting with the top down approach let's go to the monthly chart the monthly chart how does it look so we traded above the prior month's high but then we we are still trading within prior month's range so the trend on monthly is up but balancing balancing means like choppy zone like price can move up and down in this whole uh, prior month's range generally if it uh, goes above the prior month's high and then comes back within prior month's range then it's considered slightly bearish but the trend is up as long as uh, the prior month's low is not broken which is the case right now like this is the february the last candle that you see here is the february month's candle and the low of this candle did not break the prior month's low so it is still not uh, bearish on the monthly because we didn't break the prior month's low so overall trend is trend is up but balancing due to trading within prior month's range let's go to the weekly chart so the trend on weekly is bearish but balancing how do i say that if you notice the prior week's low it is 4060.75 and today's low is 4055.75 so we broke almost 5 points lower and then came back and closed within prior week's range so the trend on weekly is down but balancing let's go to the daily so the daily trend is obviously down because we broke the prior day's low and we closed below prior day's low so trend on daily is down weekly is down down but balancing and monthly and on monthly the trend is up but balancing so that's all guys i hope you find this video helpful thank you very much for watching till the end stay tuned by subscribing for more updates so that you don't miss the future videos that i post and if you find this video helpful please leave it a thumbs up as well as share with your friends it really helps spreading the knowledge around the world. Thank you and have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.